What's going on guys? Yet another fishing video. Today we are down here at sunset. Want to know why they call it sunset? Well, it's because this is where the sun sets. It also sunsets at the wall, but the wall was busy tonight, so we came here. This is the second place I ever came to come fishing. And my friend is convinced we're going to catch pickerel, so I'm also convinced. Uh, do you remember that night I did the dollar store lure challenge and I was the only one who caught a rock bass? Or a fish in general, which was a rock bass? That was here. So the white bass was also here and that was done with your old rod and a worm. No. Oh, it was a pink grub bait. It was a pink grub bait, yes. Yeah, yeah that's Get right. Get memory back together. I'm a little bit slow tonight. Yes, just tonight. I only had two cups of coffee, guys. I need more. But... Uh, we're going to get baited up, that sounded bad, and we're going to send it out. Let's cut her patter and have at her. Beauty day in the bay today, boys. Always a beauty day when you get to come out fishing. It's going to suck in the winter, but we're going to come out ice fishing. Yeah, can you walk like... Yeah, Haraz has the idea. We come out here, we walk like to where that floaty thing is out there, and drill a friggin' hole. Yeah, just drive a hole in the ground and start pulling fish. Don't need no stinking, but don't you know a guy? I really hate this line. I can't get it out as far, this stupid line. Yeah, I'm not liking this 14 pounder, but. <laughs> it helped yesterday. Yeah, it helped yesterday hauling that porker up on the. Like, usually I'm winging it way out there, man. I'm not used to that. If the sun wasn't going down, I'd totally take this shit off my line. Off my rod. Remember the last time I did that? Remember the last time I reeled in like that and a rock bass came flying out from underneath one of these rocks and just crushed my poor lure? Well, I stay about quarter after eight. Start seeing the action Jackson. Well, that, are we going to name the fish Jackson? I might. Okay, well. Oh man, I just caught a bush. That's a stupid spot for a bush. Literally just put it right back where it was. Yeah, I'm kind of not enjoying this part. Well, that's what, uh, where's Bobby? If you're watching, you mentioned go for a lighter line so I can really send her out. And uh, I can't remember if you said monofilament or fluorocarbon. Monofilament's what I usually use. That's, that, that floats. Yeah. And it sends, like I got lines to do, enough line in my bag to do both our rods, but it takes so much freaking time. I want lower pound test. I find eight to ten pounds is perfect. Anything after that. Well, this is fourteen. Oh, oh you got to Oh, oh, I got excited. I see the tip Shocker. dip. Okay, guys, I'll tune back in in a minute. Well, Haraz had. Haraz got sick and tired of her crappy line on there because she couldn't cast with that heavy whatever kind of line you had on there before. Monofilament, but fourteen and a blue. Yeah, that's what's on here is monofilament fourteen, and it seriously chokes monkey nuts. So, we'll send that out there and, no, the stick worked. I made fun of you for it because it was awesome. Can't let you, like, you know, win all the time. Got to pick on you. That's life. I think. You're like, no, it's not. Leave me alone. Oh, you're Sally. Remember I called you Sally? Because you're all like, meh, my line. <laughs> like, oh, totally going full-blown Caillou on me. Fuck you and Caillou. <laughs> ah... Hey guys, isn't that what fishing's all about, is razzing people? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, great guys, I left my friggin' lights on in the truck. No idea how the hell that happened. No, the truck is running. Okay. No idea how the hell that happened either. Guys, we're still at her, but as you can tell from the horizon, the orange is getting lighter orange. Hey, look, I don't know if you guys can see that, but look at the moon over there. It's like a little cat's eye. There's no blueberry. Oh. Apparently there's no blueberry. It swears. Oh, sorry. And a, and a, <laughs> still fishing with a trucker, boys. Still fishing oh, with a trucker. Gosh. But uh, I thought that was a fish exploding on the top water, but there's like a rock peeking out. And every once in a while it gets tapped by a wave and it looks like a fish exploding on the top water. 
But uh, so far it's been pretty quiet. Uh, Haraz says in about T minus five minutes it's gonna get rowdy, but. Oh yeah, maybe they already did their daylight savings time. Did fish do daylight savings time? I'll ask the next trout I see, come across. Oh no, wait, I still need one of those. I'll ask the next sunfish, or bass, or no, my luck, sheep's head. I, I'd be happy with a sheep's head right now. Sunset, so we're gonna take a rip out to Calander and see if we can hit the docks, get a spot, and maybe catch a kitty. This time, now that I know that the red dot that I saw on it that I thought it was worms was actually the fish's butthole. <laughs> okay, guys, I never took the anatomy of a fish before, okay? Like, I just started fishing this year. Leave me alone. But, um, yeah, so that wasn't worms. That was where he poos. Uh, yeah. We'll make sure that if we catch another channel, we will keep the freaking thing. I'm not going to keep any bullheads because they're bait fish. Even though I just watched the video where a guy ate one and said it was Ooh. delicious but uh Churchill's is I know don't they know there's only like 25 people in there Jesus. that mandate came into effect today what now it's down to 25 yep oh. <sighs> premier oh the white all beast was pretty too. premier ford changed it from 50 to 25 Good. but that's not the reason why we need it and that's not the thing that we need to change Oh, there goes everything out of the box. That's why I did have a bag. Alright guys, we're gonna head to Calander, but first we need Kafe. Kibai. Kibai. Oh, okay, she needs to Kibai. It's beyond Calendar Docks. They screwed my tea up again. Yeah, stupid Tim Hortons. I literally said peppermint tea, one cream, two sweetener. And it's black. And it's black. It's like they forgot the sweetener. And the cream. They forgot the creamer. Because they got derpy people working at the friggin' Hortons. And, oh, <laughs> that was not me, guys. He lies, it was For him. once, somebody not me on this vlog shit themselves. <laughs> and I just walked right into it. God, it tastes like chicken. <laughs> we had chicken for supper, guys. People, Adam just said he tasted my butt. Yeah, I yeah. I tasted her butt and it tasted like dinner. Oh, my God. All right, well, we're going to set up. Like Any gar in here? Even though last time you guys didn't see him, but I totally did. If I see one, I'm going to dangle a worm in front of his face and see what happens. Yeah, and then we're going to all watch Adam freak out as he tries to take it off the hook. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea too. <laughs> Alright guys, let's uh, set up some lights and oh, bait yeah. some hooks and catch some guppies. Did I only have one light? Where's my other light? Is it in the There's one in the trunk of your car. I have my tube. I'm going to take a stroll down to the end of the dock here and take a piss. Okay, bye. Over here, I don't know how well you can see, but it's way better than these pathetic sconces that they give us. Um, did you take out both worms or just the one? Just the one. I want to share for now. Uh, yeah, whatever. Sure. I don't care. Okay. I don't know which one. So we're going to bait the hooks. And we're going to send it out. bait again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a master baiter, guys. <laughs> wow. I don't even know if you can see that because. If it's going towards your line, man. Well, I'm gonna piss him off. It's back. You really wanna fuck with that? Oh, he's gone. Oh. He's gone. You really wanna fuck with that thing? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm not gonna be much help. I'll well, just let him flippy flabby for a bit and then, you know, do his thing. Uh, so He's, He's probably the reason. Here. He comes around here. Like, this is his spot. Yep. Why oh, I so quiet? <laughs> piss him off. Yeah, you piss him right off. He's like, I'm out. This is my domain. I'm the king of this. What the frig? He's gone. <laughs> oh, poor garfish. Yeah, I need better line of my freaking. This is ridiculous. She casts out like a thousand meters, and I cast out 12. Yeah, guys, that gar has to live around here. Or if they. Maybe he's got a condo. Like, I don't know. I'm not a guy. <laughs> but so far tonight, stars are out. You guys can't see shit because GoPros are just garbage at night. Um, I might be able to tune up the video a little bit to make use of our little lighting setup over here, but... <laughs> that was well brought up. 
This is a guy who's like, what? Love me. Well, you know, <laughs> you gotta let him know. You gotta let him know. It, oh. You know, whatever. But, uh, her Oz is over there as she's talking about a gar pike. I'm trying to warm up my hands. I, uh, I cast it over in this direction. I don't even know if you can see those docks out there. But there's a set of docks, like if you come down here and then you walk out here, there's a set of docks out here where people are docking their boats. Not right now during COVID, but um, I cast it out right in between this dock and that dock over there. And something bit, I went to set the hook and <laughs> slipped my freaking... Oh, hello. I know. Seeing, see those ripples in the water? See that there? See those swirls? I don't know what's going on down there. You guys probably can't even see it. I don't even know why I'm bothering. I need a better light, but there's stuff down there. I just need to warm my hands so I can get another worm on and get it out there. Cause holy crap, guys, it's freaking cold tonight. La burr. We decided to call it quits because it's four degrees Celsius out. You tried to leave, yeah. 9.40 at night. And uh, literally the most action we saw was two yards. Well, I saw one and Harass saw another one. Probably the same one. Who knows? Yeah. Alrighty guys, last night was a complete fail for fishing, but uh, maybe tonight will be a little better. As you can see, there's a lot of people down here currently casting and we are amongst them, so. Got a worm on a hook, worm on a jig. So I lost my hook setup last night. Just do a quick jig on it for for good luck or whatever. Double double from Hortons. Probably gonna taste like fart, but hey, they got my tea right. So they got her tea right. We made, we made sure that uh, they got it right by staying there and checking it. Yep, coffee tastes like burnt assholes, but whatever. All right. Let's send this pile of shit worm out. Yeah. Which way? Okay. All right, guys, I'll chime back in if uh, anybody catches a fish that's one of us two. All right, guys, we decided to move down to uh, where we were last night because it's so weedy over there. You cast and you end up pulling up a friggin' bowl of salad, so decided to be easier just to come back to where we're familiar with the terrain, sort of. I'm bouncing my jig head off the ground, though. Oh yeah, buddy down there, he actually caught the garfish that we've been spotting in the water. So, uh, he gone. I don't know how much you guys can see right now, it's pretty dark in my eyes, so. And I brought the Sony tonight, just in case the gar was swimming around the dock, I can get him on video. But I don't think he's going to be around anymore, because he's probably embarrassed about getting caught. So, he gone. First fish of the night. Uh, Haraz got something tiny. Yeah. Let's see what it is. It's gonna be like a small perch. <laughs> if it is. Oh, see you're dragging it on the water. Oh. Hey, buddy. Rocky. Hey, it's a Rocky. He cute. Hey, cute little Rocky. Hey, Rocky. cute little Rocky. <laughs> Part of the uh, panfish family. The rock bass. You my pliers? Or did you like gut it? No, the polite thing to do is when you catch a fish here is throw it on the other side. Oh, really? Did that go in the water? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Why throw it on the other side? Good call. Okay. I got you. Oh man, this worm has seen better days. He's like... 
He keeps removing the hook. I discovered today that my flashlight sticks to, uh, to metal. It's got a magnet on it. It's pretty, pretty ballin'. Rocky bass. Fun. Fun little rock bass. Michelle, it's raining. Oh my coffee. I asked Google, is it gonna rain tonight? Google's a lie. And she I said, hope. most likely not. It's supposed to be clear skies and barfy burgers all freaking day. And it's not clear skies and there is no barfy burgers. So I'm a little upset. Also, her eyes caught two rockfish or rock bass. I haven't caught in a squat. I have my worm ninja though, so that's pretty cool. Mind you, uh, to be fair, I don't even know if I... You guys are like clearing the hoodie, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if I have a worm left on my jig because I forgot to check it when I moved. Everybody left. Like, there's there's nobody on the docks anymore. Told you. Like, like oh, there might be... Oh, that's our stuff. So... We got here, people were killing it. There was one guy who had like two pickerel. There was another guy who had a bunch of, he had a bass. They showed us the picture of the gar. They were just pulling fish all day. We get here and everything stops. That's because we came too late. Yep. So fall time at six o'clock, be out here. So that's why I'm thinking. Like after work. Tomorrow, I might just come out at five. Here, patrol I'm gonna grab my cooler. And the worms. Well, the worms are over here too. No, the worms are right here. What about these worms? Those are dead and empty. Oh, it's empty. Yeah. What'd you do? Consolidate them? What? Uh, did you put them all into that container? No, that was the last of the worms. You already blew through that dozen? Huh. Okay. Basically, it seems like with the fall fishing coming in, you want to get down here between 6 and 7. You want to be line in by around 6.30 because everybody here was catching fish. Early, early, early. And the dock was pretty packed full of people fishing. So. Get down here at 5.30 and clean the spot. Yeah. Yeah, you're a little bit closer, so you can get down here quicker than I can. Yeah, and I can put my bag down and then put the stand where I want to fish and put my bag where I want you to fish. Because, yeah, it's like the fish just turned off. That's upsetting. Oh. I say that, and she's like, oh. Now, of course, I'm fishing with a jig head, and I suck with jig head fishing. Yeah, we're gonna have to come down here a little sooner if we want to get the bite. Yeah, rock bass are stupid. Mind you, get enough of them and you get a pretty tasty treat. That'd be oh, great to make fish. Don't count. Well, if you get enough of them, you can actually cut them up and get some pretty good meat off of them. Make some fish tacos again. Okay. I'm anxious. That's that's tomorrow night's dinner. Sucker sandwich. We didn't get skunked because her eyes caught two rock bass. That's counts I'm taking it her brother says rock bass don't count but you know what tonight we're taking it um, I didn't catch shit I had a couple ninja worms I think it's because I'm fishing with a jig no, I caught mine. <laughs> no 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 it's because I'm fishing with a jig you can fish with a jig all you want I fish with a jig and it's just like I'm feeding the, the lake it's it's not good so we're gonna call it for tonight I think next time we come out here we're going to have to hit it earlier than five, later five, because, yeah, they're not biting. Was that my coffee? Yeah. Where are the worms? In your cooler. Oh, okay. I'm all over it. I didn't drink my coffee? Oh, this thing's cold, so I'm going to chuck it. Yeah, I, I, I chucked, like, I had three quarters of it left. Should have thrown this in the water. You guys want to see freaking bass go nuts. Um, I want to bash the fish over here. 
There's that guy on YouTube that I watch. He makes uh, plastics. Oh, there's my tea bag. <laughs> he makes uh, plastics like uh, soft plastic lures. And he actually made one with coffee. Let's just steal this boat. That'd be all right. Go park it somewhere? I wonder if that's one that's on Kijiji for sale. It looks like it. Go park it somewhere? That looks like the one that's on Kijiji for sale. I'm pretty sure you need a key to start it. Some people stand here and fish towards there, and some people go on. What's that? Weed. Oh. And then some people go on these rocks and cast straight out and catch bass. Well, guys. Oh, that's that's deep. Now I got a soaker. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I got nice I'm gonna turn the heat on and blast my feet. It's gonna smell like fish guts. All right, well, uh, gonna call it for tonight, guys. It is what it is. Didn't get skunked, rock bass count. Typically 11 or 12 noon are a good time to start fishing. Hey guys, how the frig's it going? So as you've seen from the two previous uh, nights of fishing at night, uh, we basically missed the bite. We got, we got out there too late and ended up with no catches. So I wanna try something different today. It is currently 2.30 in the afternoon. Now I went on, on Google and asked what's a good time to go fishing and she responded with two different answers. One was noon and one was at dusk. Well, noon makes sense because the sun's the highest, the water's going to be the warmest. And this is for fall fishing by the way. Uh, the sun's the highest, the water's the warmest, the fish are going to be coming to shore to basically collect bait fish as well as warm up. So as it was mentioned last night, which is our, also on this video, it was suggested that we go fishing earlier and I got to work tomorrow. I don't want to be out late tonight, which now we see is pointless to do because if you're out late, you miss the bite. You got to get out there early, not super early, just early enough. Now the other thing is, is a lot of the guys last night we're not fishing with worms, they're fishing with minnows. I think I'm gonna bring these guys, the gulp, alive. I'm gonna chuck them in the cooler. We're gonna rig ourselves with a jig and a hook first. See how well that works. And then we're gonna rig ourselves with a split shot and a hook. And we're gonna try these gulp alives. Oh god, that cooler just reeks. Um, I won't need the Zebco. I was debating on bringing the Zebco and doing some top water. We're just gonna, we're not gonna bother. We're, we're just gonna bring Quest Ugly Stick and the cooler. Now my friend's gonna meet me down there, so I don't need to go pick her up. I can just head right to the docks. Let me uh, get the Ewok back indoors here. Or did he? Wanna go inside? What are you doing? You gotta poop or what? Come on. I don't understand him. Go. All right, let's get the frig out of here. Oh, we're not even, ooh, whatever it is, it's pulling drag. All right, guys, we got the first fish on of the day, and it is they're flipping out. Hey, they're back. Come here, buddy. I see them on Of course, there. me, I don't have my net. I'm trying to go under the dock. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, wow. Come here. I'm gonna have to strong arm them. Come on, buddy. Oh, Up you go. Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here, calm down. Yeah, I'm gonna keep him. Guess I have to take my worms out of here. Oh, I should probably put some water in here. All right, buddy. Uh, yeah, I got no. <laughs> I know he's not my PB. That's for sure. Yeah, that's a nice decent size. Come on. Hey, you have to measure bass? No, you don't have to measure them. No, no bass are. More or less just, you know, Calm down. to make you feel good. Uh, he'll feel pretty good when I put him on a bun. Oh, yeah. Okay, take it easy there, trooper. Did I? I lost the minnow. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, he's got to calm down a little bit. He's splashing a lot. First fish of the day. Nice. Got a real fish and I caught this little guy. A real fish and an imitation. 
Put your fins down. I had my, uh, I had my, my, my wife's grandson here one night. We caught at least eight or ten really good sized rock bass. Took them home and filleted them, put them next to the smallmouth. Uh. Fabulous eating. Want to take a picture? And Haraz caught herself a walleye. Want one this way? Sure. Sure. Rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. That's two fish for the gulp. And uh, what did I say? I'm like, I'm packing it up. That's two fish for me on the gulp and none on the worms today. Oh, well, that's one for me on the worms. So, Berkeley. I know you're not watching, but uh, your product works. Today Sweet. was definitely an eye opener. Um, so I got there a little bit too late. I'm gonna admit to that. Uh, I should have got there at noon, not 2.30. Noon is obviously when they're gonna be biting the most now. From what I gather, it's because the, if the sun's out, noon is when the sun's at the highest, brings the fish to the surface, whatever. Uh, brings them into the shallows, it's, it's what I'm going by what I read on Google. When we go fishing late at night, not a good time. You got to go when it's still sunny. So like if we got out there like 536, set up a couple casts here and there. Between, it seems 630 and 730 is prime time for, for our location. Now it might be different at other locations. I'm just going based off of where we fish now. So that's pretty sweet. Also, did you guys notice that I handled both the rock bass and the smallmouth with no gloves. Hashtag leveling up. So that's friggin' sweet. Moving up in the world. But we got a bass to go home and clean. I'll show you more of them. I don't know what the GoPro showed you, but I'll show you more when I get home. All right, guys, talk to you there. All right, guys, got her. That's still alive, is he? he? Can't be. Anyway, we got our dinner here. Yup. Gonna go ahead and chop this guy up. It's weird. Inside their mouth, right there. I don't know if they have it on the top. Oh, they do too. It's like um, it's like sandpaper. That's neat. Hmm. 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 Anyway, guys, can't believe it. I fished with worms all weekend. Didn't catch anything. I use this stupid stuff, this Berkeley Gulp. Caught a rock bass. Caught a bass. Smallmouth. Hmm. Yay. All right, I'm gonna chop them up and then we're going to uh, go cook some food because I haven't eaten anything since French toast this morning. Kinda hungry. Goodbye. Okay, Alrighty guys, well, that's pretty much gonna be it for today, or for this video anyway. This is a video that spanned on for three days. Went for fishing on Friday and didn't succeed. Went fishing on Saturday, didn't succeed. And the problem is, is I say Friday and Saturday, but it was Friday night and Saturday night. If you want success, you got to go when the sun's out in the fall. That was clearly a given today. So if I want to fish throughout the week because I work at 9 to 5, my only option is, is as soon as work ends on, on Monday to Friday, I have my shit in the truck, out the door, on my way to calendar, or wherever, calendar, government dock, wherever I'm gonna go through a line, get out there right away, throw a line, try and catch fish, go from there. So, pretty sweet, I'm really happy with the results of today. You know, I was able to catch, not only catch the bass, but I handled it without wearing gloves, which, that's a big new thing for me. Uh, same with the rock bass, he spined me, that little jackass, but uh, he, uh, I handled him without using uh, gloves. I'm gonna keep the gloves on me, you know, just in case. Uh, like if we catch a pike or something and I'm alone, I'm not sure how to handle a fish that size. I can watch videos till I'm blue in the face, but I find the more experience I get actually doing it, the more confidence I get actually doing it, and the better I get at doing it. But when it's a new species, it's nice to have that extra layer of protection, just in case, because somebody said, you know, you're supposed to grab them by the gills, but one guy said he tried that, the fish went nuts, he slipped, went into the gill plate, shredded his hand up pretty bad. 
I don't want to be that guy. So if Berkeley makes the gloves for this reason, I'm going to wear them. But if I don't have to, I won't. Like, it was nice to be able to handle that fish and the rock bass without having to get my gloves and put my gloves on and work out the... No, just grab the stupid thing and take it out. Right on. Anyway, people, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down here. I got to get some food cooking. I'm hungry as hell. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, guys, remember, live to win, never give in. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.